Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to my messy desk. Welcome back to another prompt page. I am really enjoying these. It's um, quick little sections of time that I can get some stuff done and I'm behind in my journaling and I don't want to do it without you guys. And so it's just a weird, I don't know. Anyway, I have, um, I have another prompt list from Janet Nash. Now, this one is is going to be the hardest one I've done so far. And here is why. Um, I wrote down the prompts. We are not going to look at them except for the first one because I already pulled this. I couldn't believe it when she said it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I already have that on my desk. And that's the only reason it's pulled. So we will cover them up like this. Okay, this is from last Monday. Today is Saturday. Um, this is last Monday. Now, um, hmm. Okay, I am working in this um, junk trash journal. I chose a page um, and I have it kind of bent backwards here because I thought I could, um, I wanna, I'm gonna work on this page right here. It's, this is the front of the book. I mean, I'm working at the exact back, but it was too far like this. So I'm gonna, you know, see if we can, get it to sit as flat as possible. That may not work. Oh my goodness, Allison. It just won't catch on this. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I do have you, you have me. Is that any better? Maybe. Okay. Here we go. I have not pulled any of the prompts except for the first one because I was dying. And the funny thing, okay, Janet, your, your prompts are hilarious. I don't know where you get them. I mean, like, I know you make them, but I am cracking up. So I was dying that this was a prompt. Um, now, ironically, okay, let's just go. So the fun thing about Janet is like she pulls them and she creates as she goes. As I always say, I will leave her channel below if you can catch her live. If not, you know, you can go back and do what I do. But anyway, um, I, I don't know. Anyway, so, okay, the first prompt is hedgehog. I'm dying. I'm absolutely dying. Okay, now I have this sweet card on my desk from Sweet Nicole. Now, I want to use it so badly. However, she has written on, like, both sides. And so now I'm sad. I, I don't have the ability to scan it and make a copy. So now I don't know if I want to use it. Um, I thought she had just written on this, you know, side and <sighs> now I don't know because I want to put it into my happy journal, a uh, happy mail journal, which is why it was out on my desk. Um, Isn't he adorable? I think it's a hedgehog, isn't it? Yeah. It might be a porcupine. It might be a porcupine. Oh, gosh. Okay, I feel like now I have to save it. Well, I don't have to. I want to save it. So that means I need to look for another hedgehog. Now, I don't know. I just think it's a hilarious prompt. I don't know where to get a hedgehog. I have a couple ideas, however. I feel like I might have a sticker and I feel like I might have a stamp and both of which are right here at my feet. Okay. I've redone some of my stamps. They're in my notebooks right here. And, um, I feel like it might be accessible if we just kind of, okay. These are words. Um, Okay, so I know what it looks like. The one I'm thinking of that it might be. Oh, there's my other Dreamcatcher stamp set that I was talking about the other day. Okay. It's like little animals and they... Um, they like hang over... Seagull, coffee. 
these guys. Okay, maybe I don't know what a hedgehog is. Is that a hedgehog? I feel like that's a hedgehog or is that a porcupine? Janet, how did you come up with a prompt of a hedgehog? Maybe I don't even know what a hedgehog is. Okay, that's one option. My other option is in my dollar um, sticker books and in the winter one, which should be back here. Not this winter one. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is crazy. Janet, hedgehog, huh? The, here's the crazy part. Nobody even asked for an alternative. People ask for alternatives all the time. Not on hedgehog. People just have a hedgehog. I don't even remember this one. I don't even remember what Janet did for a hedgehog. Because I am like getting ready in the morning and like, I feel like that's a hedgehog. Oh my goodness. You guys. I literally don't know what to do for a hedgehog. And you guys are on my phone. You guys are on my phone, so. Oh, I'm kind of sad. I thought that thing was a hedgehog and then I was going to use it, but I don't want to use it because I want it for my note card and I think it's a porcupine. This doesn't have a hedgehog in it. I... <sighs> okay, for real. I think... We have to make an executive decision. And we have to vote whether this is a hedgehog or not. And by we, I mean me, obviously. <laughs> Janet, you're absolutely stumping me. Okay, my only other thought is I might have something like in the children's art book. Again, I don't know if we would know it was a hedgehog if I don't know what a hedgehog is. I thought I did know what a hedgehog is, and now I'm questioning myself. So, how do you have a hedgehog just sitting on your desk is the question of my, my brain right now. Well, obviously, I think I have a few. <laughs> I had a card, and I have some stickers. I just don't know if they're hedgehogs. Okay. Wow. We might have to go with something that looks like a hedgehog, because... I just don't know. I honestly was so excited to start this page with that card. She said it and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have a card ready already, like ready to go with a hedgehog. And yet here we are. Oh, you guys. Okay, well, we're going back to... Isn't that funny? Okay, well, huh. <sighs> Polar bear, bugs, turtles, feathers, birds, fish. Okay, no hedgehog. All right, we are going to vote that. Um, this is a hedgehog. That's, that's the decision. And I think, I think this guy is a hedgehog, but this looks like, I 
Well, I'm going to, I'm going to say this is a hedgehog and I'm going to say this is the same animal. Okay. Let's just make a decision. That's, that's where we're at. That took way longer than it was supposed to. Okay. Now we have to decide what to punch this on or stamp it on because I didn't know I was stamping. We could use vellum. Does this, this is not even the right ink. Um, what do I have? I have, yeah, we're going to have to use this. Um, okay, he's kind of cute. There he is on vellum. Does he want a little tree to stand on? Should we? Um, I'll punch out the tree just in case. Gosh knows what else is coming because I didn't actually really look. I promise, I promise. And um, now I'm wishing I had, right? <laughs> All right. We're going to do it on this. Okay, there you go. Oh, I wonder if um, I have anything in my fall stuff that Nicole sent me. Maybe there's a hedgehog in there since there was a hedgehog on the card. Oh my gosh, okay, this is crazy. Now I don't know what to do with the little hedgehog, of course. Wow, okay, that was a lot. Um, oh, sorry, I think I hit you guys. I'm trying to rip this off and it's not ripping. Scissors, all of a sudden. Um, I don't know what to do with the hedgehog. I'm going to I'm going to leave him. I'm just going to cheat. I'm just going to say we have a hedgehog and go with that. I don't know what we're supposed to do with him. No, oh, and I just cut him. Okay, we have a hedgehog. We also have a whole file of fall stuff that I was sent. I also have other fall stuff, but let me just check. <laughs> you guys, is that a hedgehog? He's super cute. <gasps> Look at this one. Uh, I am super clear at this point. I don't know what a hedgehog is. I am 100% clear. That's, I think that's a hedgehog. I think this is a hedgehog and he's adorable. That one's from Nicole. Okay, we are gonna use that. We're, I am changing my vote. I think this is a hedgehog. Look how cute he is. I'm gonna use this guy. <gasps> so stinking cute. Okay, I don't know what he's gonna do, but we're, this is the one. Okay, we're back. We are back on track. He's not quite cut, okay. I don't even know what we're going to do with him, and I'm not putting him down. I'm breaking all the rules tonight, so just just hang on, because it's going to get crazy up in here, because I'm not gluing stuff down. I don't even know what is coming. Oh, look at that autumn color. Okay, that makes sense. This little guy is super cute now. Maybe I'll put him on my page for today, just to remind us all of the crazy that's happening in my life right now. Um, Whoops, that doesn't go like that. Um, okay. Autumn color, autumn color. What do we want to do? Do we want to put um, some paint down on this or do we want to, I don't feel like I want to put, um, 
I don't think I want to put acrylic paint on that right now. I really don't. So let's do this. Well, I have so much autumn paper that she sent me, but I, I want to save it for, okay. I have this paper I made, which I showed you guys. Um, I mean, I also have stuff like this, but I want to save this. Um, okay. This is my spring paper pad that I coffee dyed to make autumn. And so we're going to use something from here that looks autumn. And it's probably that for you guys, it smells so good. It's probably this first page. We're going to use that page unless we want this page. That's not really autumn-y. I feel like this is more autumn. We're going to go for it. We are going to do a quick, I'm going to use this half here. Look at the lines from the oven. <laughs> it cooks so nicely. <laughs> That was super fun. I don't know why I've never even thought of that again. Well, I do know why I'm very in the box when it comes to creativity. Like I'm, it's very difficult for me and Nicole over, at, um, relax cut glue made a, um, new journal for fall and she had these magnificent papers in it. And of course everybody was like, Oh my gosh, how'd you get your colors so deep? And then, you know, with coffee or tea staining, it's like beautiful. And she was like, then she showed a video on how she made it. And she had started with colored paper. I'm like, idiot, Allison. What a ding dong. Of course, start with colored paper, get a darker color in the end. So I didn't have any of the paper she um, had specifically, but I did have a bunch of scrapbook paper that I'm not particularly fond of because it's spring colors. And I don't do spring colors really. So uh, I made this and I freaking love it. I actually um, will do this even more so because yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We'll get some glue on that like that. Um, let's see what other glue. I did buy a new glue today. I know, don't panic, but I don't think it's time to open it. I think, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I bumped you. I have this little glue from the dollar store that I want to use. A new liquid glue that's just cheap cheap it might be so cheap <laughs> that it doesn't come out even when I cut it open you guys stop it hey if you're new here welcome I um, do not own a glue that I don't fight with I'm not even kidding I just opened this <gasps> okay I just okay what about this one we'll try this one did you see what I had? I have a glue that you're supposed to store this way and I've been storing it this way. Okay, yeah, if you're new here, welcome. I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> been a little bit of a mess lately. I'm a little off my game. I'm not journaling much, not gonna lie. Um, been a little bit behind, but I'm really, really enjoying these prompt pages. So I try to do um, a little bit of journaling, a little bit of prompts. Um, just to get the creativity going, just to, you know. So this is not coming out super well, probably because I had it stored upside down. All right, we'll do that. Okay, let's glue this sucker on. There is fall color. And I think we're okay. We're gonna call that fall color. Oh my gosh. 
going to put them here right now very lightly. Janet says I can do that. She gave us permission, so yeah. Okay, autumn color. There you go. What's next? Wrapping paper. Super. I don't have any wrapping paper down here. Well, I do. Um, it's unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> So I won't be using that. Let me see what else I have. I have this book from Elizabeth that she made me years ago that I love. And I want to say, well, there was a piece in here. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, this is my favorite piece of wrapping paper. This is the last piece. That is not wrapping paper. I don't, woo! Elizabeth sent me all this fun boating stuff. Um, that's not wrapping paper. Those are pictures. I'm just looking. Um, oh, that's vellum. I could have used that for the vellum. Shoot. Um, dang it. Okay, there's no wrapping paper there. I have palm tree wrapping paper that I think Elizabeth also sent me. Someone sent me. I have this sweet little book from Christy, but this doesn't have wrapping paper in it. It has tissue paper or napkins. Um, Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, wrapping paper, wrapping paper, wrapping paper. Um, the only piece of wrapping paper I have is, I think, I'm in my, folder that I keep for my collage. This is not where I just saw it. Where did I see it? This is where I feel like it helps to pull what you need ahead of time. Because I can't imagine how entertaining this is for anybody. And I'm feeling a little... Hmm. I don't know, you guys. Wrapping paper. I just saw that piece. What was I in earlier? that it's um it's palm trees what was i in earlier that i was looking at it i don't know you guys that's the only other piece i can think of and it was like right here um i didn't put it in my fall book And none of this is wrapping paper. Wrapping paper, wrapping paper. <sighs> I don't know. I don't like the blue. Like, that really bothers me a lot. Um... I don't think I'll like the green either, though. Um, what would you guys use? You have wrapping paper on your desk. Um, seriously, I don't know what I was looking at, and I saw my green... Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Is it in my Happy Mail drawer? It's in my Happy Mail drawer. Okay, there's my, there it is. This is wrapping paper, yes? Oh, it's wallpaper. <laughs> I don't have any wrapping paper. Can you imagine, you guys? 
I don't have any wrapping paper. The crazy part, again, is nobody asked for an alternative. I might have to go back and watch Janet's. I don't, I don't know how everybody has all this in their room. I have a crap ton of stuff in here, you guys. You've seen my room. Um, <laughs> I, I don't understand. So, what do we do? Well, I'm going to have to pause you and go get some wrapping paper, I guess. I mean, like, I don't even have tissue paper in here, which I guess is wrapping paper. You know why I don't have tissue paper in here? Because I cleaned my room and I took everything out. So, so much for that theory, huh? I know, right? You're like, Allison, that's not really the reason your room's a mess. Um... Okay, I'm gonna pause you. I'm gonna go find some wrapping paper. I'll... <sighs> I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I ran and I grabbed the first roll of toilet, uh, toilet paper, wrapping paper I could find. This is what we're working with, folks. This is what we're working with. It's okay. Um, I actually really like this. This wrapping paper, first of all, is amazing. I don't remember. I think we got it at like home goods. It's almost like a plastic or something. It's so bizarre. Like, do you see how it doesn't like rip? It's so cool. I'm actually really happy I found this. Okay. So I, I'm saving this. It's going back in my book and Although I did kind of like this little guy having something to stand out against. So I'm wondering if we can give him a little background. I keep pulling these cards. I think something like that is kind of cute. Um, this could be kind of cute also. I kind of like the red or whatever this one is. We're going to go with that. And again, I don't know what our next prompt is, but I am feeling like I want to cut out some of these little hearts and have them kind of raining on him. So I'm just going to do it, right? What could go wrong? What? I mean, I know what could go wrong. There could be another prompt for like a hedgehog or something, but, but we're going to just do this. I think he's just stinking cute. Look how cute he is. <gasps> I love him. I don't even care if he's a hedgehog. Okay. I think he's a hedgehog. <laughs> I already know. I already know. I can't wait for the comments because I already know who's going to comment and tell me. <laughs> oh, where's my phone, a friend? See, I need to figure out another way to to um, to tape, um, to film so I can use my phone. There's so many times during filming where I'm like, oh, I need my phone. Obviously, because someone could be calling, which is what happened a little bit ago. And obviously, outside of that... Um, you know, to look up stuff or whatever. Um, like what a picture of a freaking he hedgehog. Oh, okay. I am biting the bullet. I am now totally, um, committed to this page. Now, whether let's see, I'm only on prompt two. I'm, I'm getting kind of brave. Here's what I'm doing. Oh no. Prompt three hedgehog fall colors and wrapping paper, right? Okay, this is, oop, and there goes my glue. Almost time to, so we're, we're, okay. Okay, this, this, this is okay. Oh my goodness, Allison. Hedgehog autumn wrapping paper. Okay, we're done with that. Janet, you're killing me. <sighs> okay. 
that says ladybug. <laughs> okay, when she said it and then um, it gets typed up in the prompt in the chat, you know, it said ladybird. And I was like, and I commented, I'm like, what? what is a ladybird? I don't, is it like not a male bird? I don't understand. And she's like, oh no, ladybug. <coughs> There's a ladybug right there. These were in Happy Mail too. Oh my gosh. I owe you guys so much. Okay, here we go. We're taking this guy right now. I'm not messing around anymore, right? Okay, that's exciting. Okay. We're going to, do we want to just, oh, I'm going to just put it like this because I'm going to write my little thing there. I'm going to use the whole thing as a prompt, as the little, ah. okay. Ladybug is checked off the list. Magazine, page 29. Oh my gosh. Okay. Magazine, page 29. We can do it. I just have to find a magazine. Which, I know. Oh, can I choose? Do I get to pick? These are my choices. Garden and Gun, which I have not looked at, but I cut the dog out of the front for the last one. Or, or um, like a Realtor magazine. It is a gamble, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go with the garden and gun. I'm just going to see what's on page 29 of this, just to know what we didn't pick. <gasps> okay, the owl's on page 29. That would have been a huge picture. Okay, we totally chose well. Let's just see what's on here, because we can use anything. Let's see, page 29, page 29. Dear goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, shoot, 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh, Janet. Oh, no. What do we do? Shoot. I don't like this. I don't, there's nothing on this page. I don't, I don't like this. I'm not. I don't, I can't. I'm just cheating. I don't, I don't care. I'm cheating. Okay. This magazine, 29. Ugh. It's this one. We could use like. Oh my God, you guys, this one is a doozy. I am not, I'm cheating. That's what I'm just, I think I'm cheating. Cause I think, <gasps> okay, should we take this little guy? Okay. We're going to, we're going to do it right. 28, 29, because he better not be a freaking hedgehog. Okay. That's all I'm going to say right now. He's a gopher. I think I'm super sad with this page, but better than that giant owl. I don't know what I would have done with him. Okay. It's like a critter page. How weird. Okay, we're going to cut this little guy out. Look, you guys. They're like in love. Maybe this little guy is blowing kisses to this little guy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And showering him with love. Okay, this is the weirdest page I've ever made. Janet, thank you so much because you're pushing me way outside my boundaries even though I'm cheating. <laughs> and what? A house, a house window or door, of course. Okay, window or door. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A house, window, or door. <sighs> you guys, I don't know. I 
I do know there's one in that children's art book, but where am I going to put a window or a door on there? <sighs> okay. My only other thought really fast is in this folder from Elizabeth is a dictionary page. It's the letter B though. I thought we were on D, it's B. Okay, so, and a window or a door. Wow, this one's a doozy. Okay. Um. Back to the stickers. Janet, you impress me. I need to go back and watch what you created with this because I am <laughs> really stumped with this. I'm really stumped with this. Okay, a window or a door. Well, I mean, I could put an envelope window on there. It doesn't have to be a house window. That would be a safe choice. It might be my only choice at this. <gasps> There's windows, but I don't want to use this. Okay. Um, okay, well then if we're gonna do that, we can go back to my children's art book and see, cut out a window. Right? A window or a door? It's gotta be a window because... Ooh, what if it was a giant window? And we could place it over the whole thing. Here's our windows. I cut out the other half of these. Um, I've already used this. Um, hmm. I mean, we could draw a window or a door. Look at that window. You guys. Can I get that to work? Let's see, shall we? I also have, oh, this would have been a good magazine. It's okay, all right. That's not what I thought I was pulling. I also have this book. Oh, there's a little house with a little window. Look right there. That might be a safe option. Oh my goodness.
Okay. And this one is my favorite, well, not my favorite, but one of my favorite cookbooks um, <laughs> with this like 1980s art in it, but it has, it's just so pretty. I would imagine there was a window in here or a door. But maybe not. That's interesting. I would like would have put a dollar down on the table for a bet if you ask me. Well, there's a barn door. What about a barn door? Oh, all right, guys, we're gonna go for it. Holy cow. Um okay, this is I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I'm not. <laughs> it's, it's like too big and I don't want to slice it all up. So we're going back to my stamps. Because I have a house in here. Um. I'm in my lap, I'm on my lap. There's a house. I have another one somewhere. Let's see, this one goes back in here. Boy, it's been a while since we started on this video. So sorry, you guys. Um. I don't know if I pulled my other house set. It's like I pulled a bunch to have out and kind of available. And I don't think I pulled the house set. So we will use that house, I think. So this is that time where you think, gosh, I wish I wouldn't have glued down that whole piece of paper because it's not flat, but we're going to try and stamp on here. All right. All right, this gives us a door on this little stamp. Um, excuse my reach. I don't know if I have a big enough block over here. Well, it's gonna have to do. Um, we're gonna do something like that. And we don't even really need it on the block. I mean, we can just play for fun. It doesn't have to be a perfect stamp. I do have it all over my hands now, however. Okay. Let's do something like Okay, let's hope that took. Not at all. Ooh, that sucks. Why? Because my ink is not wet enough? Because the stamp didn't take it? That's a bummer. Um, I don't 
know if this is, I don't think that's wet enough to do it. Um, those poor markers are so old. Let's see if it will take with this marker. Barely. Guess I need another black ink pad. I never think to buy those. That, you know, that coupon. Well, gosh, you know, Michaels has not given us the good coupons for a year and a half now because of, you know, what. But, um, I rarely use them because I, you know, I rarely go to Michael's. And then if I do, it's like, well, I don't want to use it on a black ink pad or just glue. But that's exactly what you should use it on because um, you know, most of the time you don't really need anything in there. You just go in and get 40 or 60 percent off a black ink pad. But now it's only like 20%. That's kind of lame. All right. If this doesn't take, we are, um, eh, that's kind of a bummer. Kind of sad about that right now. We're just going to have to go over it in another marker because I can't deal with this right now. All right. So there's that. Put that back in my stamp bucket. And we'll put our... Pads away. And we'll just have to go over it with black ink because, oh, you know what I have right here? A Sharpie um, gel black ink marker that I thought was white. <laughs> you guys crack me up. You're like, oh, she's going to be really mad when she figures out that's not white. <laughs> sure enough. Sure enough. I'm going to scooch this guy over and tear him off. We don't need the whole tab. Okay, we'll do that. Um, yeah, no, I was super excited because I found these at Back to School and I thought they were um, white. No, they're not white. They're black. Whatever. It's okay. All right, we're just going to do this so it pops a little bit more um and that is the last oh I actually wanted to do something different that's funny um I tr I'm trying not to pull the same prompts or pull the same things for the prompts so um window I remember when she pulled this and I was like oh I'm gonna pull an envelope window um but it's just, it's, that's a so easy prompt for me. I have 10 million, as you know, right here on my desk painted, ready to go. Um, and so I am trying to pull harder prompts. I should have maybe just gone with that one. Um, but that's okay. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the hearts or the house stamp. Um, and I haven't used it in a long time and it makes me feel good to use my stuff. Um, I'm glad I got out my stuff. The other day, I, I went through my stuff and kind of put some out, like I said, um, so they're ready to use because I don't really use stamps that often, um, so I'm happy to, to be using them. I, I am, I'm pleasantly surprised with this, this um, collage, partially because it started off with such a nightmare okay so one I have to go research what a hedgehog is I'm pretty sure this is also a hedgehog but he's super cute he'll go on my page for today just remember because this guy wins my heart hands down um yeah I'm happy with the autumn colors in here I'm really happy with the wrapping paper I found I apologize I had to leave my desk and come back that was not in the plan but I I don't know I don't know I, I literally don't have any on my desk so um, so that's it. Oh my gosh, Janet. I think I'm caught up on your prompts, but holy smokes, this one, this one was a doozy. I have some homework to do. I will obviously research hedgehogs 
And um, I thank you for your creativity and your inspiration. And I appreciate all of you guys watching if you're watching because this, this was a little bit of a mess. But anyway, I am always so grateful for this community. I hope you're having a great day. And I hope, I hope you're finding um, fun ways to do the challenges also. If it's not this one, if it's the, you know, other lists, any list at all. I just think it's a fun way to like push your brain because obviously this is not a page I would ever made. And I absolutely, I love it. You guys look, they're like in love and they're like, Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Anyway, so I hope you're enjoying prompts too. I appreciate you watching and I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.